traffic puts it in. So Melvin Edgem gets the scoring started. There are, boy, oh boy, looking around, probably 5,000 uh, kids here in the building on this Wednesday morning. And uh, as you can tell in the background, I don't think I really even need a crowd mic here tonight, but uh, they are going to be loud, and they all are uh, pretty uh, boisterous already. Ty Green, top of the key, 19-footer, no good. Nana Egwu with a rebound for Erie. So the Bayhawks lead it 2 to nothing. 45 seconds in. Here's quickly Clark in the lane. He is outright grabbed by Eric Atkins, and then Edgem, and they're going to rule that one on the floor, so here he gets a break. Boy, Clark was right under the bucket. He was going to turn around and dunk it, but Atkins just grabbed it, so a great foul, I guess, in retrospect. Here's Clark up top, finds Rayleigh down the lane. He mishandles the pass, and it goes out of bounds on the baseline. Now, if the sevens are a little off kilter here today, it's perfectly understandable. First of all, Sean Kilpatrick, 30, so he'll be to Kabongo right side, three-pointer, and they hit again. Four for four from beyond the arc to start the game. Keep in mind, this is one of the, I don't want to say worst shooting three-point squads in the T-League, but they have been near the bottom all year in attempts, percentage, the whole thing. But uh, they are ablaze here to start tonight as Sam Thompson drives down the lane, misses the layup. Nana Egwu with the rebound for Erie. Bayhawks lead at 16-5. to five. We have 7.50 to go here in the first quarter. Seibert straight on, puts it to Atkins. Great ball movement. Seibert for three. Left side, he hits again. Unbelievable. Six for six from beyond the arc to start the game. They lead it 22 to five. Here's Clark up top, hands it to Ty Green. And he lobs it to the left wing. That's Sam Thompson, works his way in against Cyber. Tough shot on the move and he puts it in. So Sam Thompson gets his first bucket. So anyway, so anyway, the Delaware team, their bus broke down north of Harrisburg last night. They were stranded in the middle of nowhere for three hours. Here's Egwu left side, misses a 15-footer. Earl Clark with a rebound for the sevens. And they didn't get to Erie till I was told by the trainer, 1.30 in the morning is when they got here. And here's Clark up top, straight on three-pointer hits. Earl Clark off to a great start. He's got eight points. And it's a 22-10 Bayhawk lead. Back halfway through the opening quarter, up by 12. Cabongo to Edgem up top, and now it's Seibert inside the right hash. Working against Thompson, puts it on the floor, fires a left corner to Atkins, now up top to Cabongo. He drives down the lane, runs right into Ty Green, and ripped it out of his hands and took a shot to the face. Thompson the other way, top of the key, dishes left side to Clark. Now Smith, left corner, three ball, got it. Russ Smith gets his first bucket of the day, and it's probably the first of many. And that cuts the ear out of as he goes running toward the lane. So that'll do it for the first quarter. And an exciting quarter it was. 12 minutes in the I suppose. <laughs> so Delaware has the ball to start the second period. As in the lineup for the first time. We'll get to that in a moment. As Wood down low in traffic misses and then tips it right back in. So Christian Wood gets his first bucket and gets the scoring started here. Christian Trevin Parks, 5'11", 170 out of Johnson. C. Smith is checked in for Delaware as Davis misses a 17-footer near the left elbow. And the Sevens have it back down by five. They trailed 22-5 to five right out of the gate here, but they've slowly started imposing their will. Here's Wood in the right block. Tough banker over Davis, and he puts it in. So just like that, we've got ourselves a three-point game. Cutting baseline, reverse layup, he puts it in. So Seibert gets his first conventional bucket. He's got eight points. And it's 32-27, Erie on top. Here's Parks near the left hash. Dumps it to Wood in the mid-left post. Wood starts backing down Davis. Turns and drops it. Now picks it back up, and he's fouled. Davis got him on the arm on the way up. So that's Alex. This is his 19th game with the Sevens this year. Mentioned he was with the Sixers to start the season. Here's Harvey, right side, 22-footer, no good. Egwu with the rebound. Backdoor feed to Harvey, and he lays it in. What a good look by Nana Egwu as he had his back to the basket when he caught that rebound and somehow knew that Harvey was cutting back door from the right wing. Here's Parks with a dribble driving lane. Oh, he traveled, and yep, they did get him for it. He can't believe it, but that was all back to Erie, leading 37-28. Atkins across to Erie, leading 37-28. Atkins across the timeline against Trevin Parks. Now he goes down the lane with a dribble drive off the glass. No good. Rebound taken by Parks. Long pass head to Kilpatrick. One-on-one against Seibert. Seibert fouls him in the middle of the lane. And, oh, they're going to count it. 
He was a fun to swallow right there. He went up, came down, and the crew chief even pointed it out. But strangely, he lost Atkins between the circles, works against Park, sends it right side to Cyber. Seibert has Ty Green on him. He lobs it back outside to Atkins. Six to shoot as Atkins works against Parks. Four to shoot. He goes down the right side of the lane. Tough off-balance shot. Clangs off the board. Rebound taken by Wood, and his outlet pass is intercepted in midcourt by Seibert, who's then fouled by Green. So Ty Green picks up his first foul. So here's Eric Wu back up top. Seibert's three is off the mark. Rick Jackson with a rebound for Delaware. So Parks brings it into the left forecourt to Wood up top, and he hands it to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick, right side of the lane, shut off, kicks it back to Parks in the left perimeter. Down low it goes, that's Wood, posting up Davis in the left block, battles his way to the hoop, rejected by Davis, and Alex comes up with a loose ball. Here comes Atkins down the right side, drops it off for Seibert, and now Seibert gets it to Davis at the top of the key. Davis will hand it off to Harvey. Steps back beyond the line, fires it back to Davis. Left wing, 14-footer, rattles out, no good. Jackson with a rebound for the sevens. So Kilpatrick has it up top, gets a screen from Jackson, now sends it to Wood. Right side, three-pointer over Davis that badly clangs off the rim and board. Rebound, Egwu Aviri. Quickly down the left side, here's Davis driving baseline. He travels as he goes around. Quickly down the left side, here's Davis driving baseline. He travels as he goes around Wood. So we have had, I think, four traveling calls here in the first half here in the opening half as they've been going up and down the floor. So here with a smaller lineup. Davis surrounded by swing men and guards right now. Here's Kilpatrick backing down Seibert in the left block. Good job defensively by Seibert as he forces the miss, and Davis comes up with a rebound. Here's Edgem right side, takes it to the rim. He misses the banker. Wood cuffs him fake, one dribble, three-pointer hits. So Harvey's got a couple of threes. He's got eight points here. In the opening half, seems to be a better shooter after he does that pump fake and one dribble. It's sort of a timing mechanism. Here's Kilpatrick left side. Lobs it out to Green on the right perimeter. He'll jack up a three-pointer, and he nails it over Seibert. So the teams trade threes, and it's 42-38. Erion down the lane against Cabongo. Bounce pass down low. He threw it right to Alex Davis of Erie. Good job by Cabongo. He has it now. Bounces it left side. Seibert wide open three-pointer short. Rebound taken down by Earl Clark, who's back on for the sevens. So Clark gives it up to Russ Smith, and they'll get in their half-court set. Smith bursts in from the right side against Cabongo, throws it off the corner of the board. Rebound taken off the floor by Melvin Edgem. You don't see that too often. It hit the corner of the side. So it, Cabongo, by the way, hits two out of every three free throw attempts. Second try, and he missed that one. So he's 67% coming in, and that just fell. 51-42, Russ Smith has it for Delaware in the right forecourt. Clark sends it to Green, left hash. He works his way around Atkins and is fouled on his way down the lane. That's the fourth team foul on the Bayhawks as then Atkins and Green went crashing. Seibert will shoot the free throw. He's got six points here in the first half. <coughs> of course, we did make him our Jet TV spotlight player of the game as he hits the second. Not sure why, but he's got seven points. 54-45, Erie on top. Here's Smith driving to the left baseline. He's followed by Seibert on the way through. That's going to be two shots. <coughs> but with this game here today, his first free throw attempt is now putting 24 minutes of basketball as the other night. And that's uh, certainly been the case. He leads the way with six assists. Delaware, meanwhile, just six dimes on their 17 hoops. They have the ball, though, to start the third quarter. Here's Sean Kilpatrick up top as he gets the start here in the second half after not starting the game. Earl Clark against Egwu, right side, drives right by him and is fouled on his way up. He went crashing to the floor, but he seems to be okay. Grayley down low. Ty Green, Russ Smith, and Sean Kilpatrick up. He puts it on the floor, kicks it up top to Seibert. He'll try a three-pointer. That's off the mark. Kabongo with the offensive rebound. He's going to take it out to the left wing. Oh, he threw up an air ball. He was too open. He, and he put his hand up as if he committed a foul after taking that air ball. He was all by himself on the left side of the floor. So here's Smith up top. He'll try a straight on three. That's no good. Egwu with a rebound for Erie. So one minute into the second half, Erie leads it by nine. Here's Atkins with 16 feet hits. Russ Smith had crashed to the floor after missing that layup, so Erie had the five on four as he was lying at the other end. He's okay. He just was real slow to get up. 
58-47, Bayhawks lead it. Clark, excuse me, that's Smith near the right ash, takes it to the top of the key. Left hand dribble drive down the lane, fouled, he puts it in. Russ Smith can really create his own here in the third quarter. Out of across midcourt into the first row of the seats. And so this here in the opening two minutes of the third quarter. And both of them are kind of unforced, just sort of sloppy dice. Uh, just kind of throwing the ball around the yard. Here's Smith in the left forecourt to Clark, who hands it off to Kilpatrick at the top of the key. Back to Clark up top. He'll try a three-pointer. That misses badly. Clangs off the rim and board, and Cabongo takes it off the floor. Here comes Atkins quickly the other way to Seibert left corner. And Jordan Seibert will shoot the free throw, and he hits it. So the I was going to say as if nothing happened, but, <laughs> well, here he just got a point due to Sean Kilpatrick's doing something. And when they review the uh, replay, it's has its back to me, so I can't tell what they were looking at. I don't, I don't know what the situation was. Here's Rayleigh down low, power move over Ego, and he puts it in with the left hand. So Jordan Rayleigh finally records a statistic here today. That's his first shot at the top. Here's Atkins, takes it right side of the lane, kicks it back up top to Edgem. Edgem bounces it left side to Cabongo, finds Seibert, left corner, three ball short. Rebound taken down by Earl Clark of the sevens. Long pass down the right side ahead to Kilpatrick, who slows down on the, on the wing. And now Smith in the right forecourt fires it over to Clark at the top of the key. Kicks it back to Kilpatrick. Right wing, three ball, no good. Rebound Atkins of Erie. Bayhawks have it back, leading by nine. 8.37 to go third quarter. Here's Atkins up top, 37 to go third quarter. Here's Atkins up top, bounces it to Cyber. We have a moving pick called on Nana Egwu. They do not have John Bohannon or Justin Manns yet on the roster. So as far as big man depth, keep in mind they traded Daniel Corsi a few weeks back too. So they really have only Nana Egwu who is a big guy off the bench. Smith drives in. He's blocked by Egwu. Kabongo comes up with him. Loose ball. They had numbers for a moment, but now on the left wing, it's Atkins. Ricked off by Edgem. He brings it out to the right wing. And now they whip it around the horn again. Great ball movement all day from the Hawks. Here's Egu left block, back to Atkins on the left wing. Atkins gets a screen from Egu. Now back to Nana, but he threw it away. Russ Smith with the steal, two on one. Cabongo, the only man back. Oh, and he carried the ball. What an unforced there that was. It was Tyler Harvey back into the area lineup. Jordan Seibert sits down. Bayhawks have it back, leading 63. Egu up top. Gets it to Harvey, who bobbled it. Now he's going to fire a 20-foot jumper. That's no good. Lowry with the rebound. Bill Peterson not thrilled about the shot selection right there. Here's Clark, right side to Kilpatrick up top. Takes it to the right elbow, double team. Gets it back to Clark at the top of the key. Left side, Russ Smith hoists the three-pointer. That's no good. Egwu with his 14th rebound. Oh, his outlet pass went off Seibert's back, and Kilpatrick has the interception. And now it's Pope set with himself. He got it between the shoulder blades, and Kilpatrick was there to scoop it up. And now Kilpatrick, right corner, 18-footer short. Edge him with a long rebound. He's on the run. One-on-one -on -one against Sam Thompson. Down the lane he goes. Off the glass short. Clark with the rebound for the sevens. Oh, a missed opportunity there. Smith goes coast to coast. Off balance. Runner no good. Lowry has the weak side rebound. A couple of pump fakes, and he puts it in. So David Lowry... All five of college, Notre Dame and Louisville in the ACC. Here's Edgem on the left wing. Working there against Clark. Gets it to Egwu at the foul line. His 15-footer's no good. And a rebound taken by Earl Clark, another Louisville product. So here's Kilpatrick near the right hash. Now he works his way to the top of the key, and he is down the lane with a dribble drive. No good. Atkins has the rebound. Kevin Young can't believe there's no foul called. I'm kind of surprised myself. Here's Atkins in the left forecourt. Patrick was getting mugged the whole way down the lane, but there was never a whistle. Here's Seibert up top, gets a screen from Edgem, and then thinks better of it and gives it to Melvin just on the right side. Now it's Harvey back to Seibert on the left side. Bounce pass, jump hook in the lane from Egwu. That one slipped off his hand and it clanged off the board on the opposite side of the rim as Kilpatrick goes right around Edgem, lays it in and is fouled as Egwu came over too late. So Kilpatrick has a Davis and Kabongo return for Bill. They've crawled all the way back, and they're finally tied. They still have not led yet in this ball game. As here's Davis, top of the key, 19-footer hits. Alex Davis with 10 points. Bayhawks back on top, 87-85. Here's Smith on the left perimeter against Kabongo. Works his way into the lane, straight down the key, and Egwu rejects his layup attempt. Oh, and a late whistle. And this is going to go against... Smith is 2-1. of one. Here's Atkins beyond the top of the key. Laurie on him. 
Sends it left side to Seibert, who gets it back from the postman and banks it in weak side. I was going to say reverse layup, but it was more of a shot after he went under the bucket. Here's a pass deflected, but Kilpatrick has it left side. Works his way in the lane with the dribble drive. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two as Edgem picks up his third personal foul. Nuggets because he's got the brand new shoes. Oh, sevens lead at 96-95. 247 now to play. Edgem top of the key. Gives to Seibert. He's thought about the three. Gives it back to Edgem. who goes strong to the hoop and lays it in. 24 points for Melvin Edgem who's trailing the play, limping. It's a five on four for Delaware. Bayhawks up by one and Kilpatrick is fouled by Seibert, who uh, it was a good foul by Seibert because he really... Well, there he goes. Melvin Edgem, who's trailing the play, limping. It's a five on four for Delaware. Bayhawks up by one and Kilpatrick is fouled by Seibert, who uh, it was a good foul by Seibert because he really... Well, the Erie Bayhawks lead this one by one with two and a half minutes to go. Delaware has the ball, however. Kilpatrick drives left baseline and misses from five feet. Edgem with the rebound for the Bayhawks. Kilpatrick upset, no foul was called. Out of bounds off Russ Smith. Erie gets a huge break right. Oh, no, it's going to be Delaware ball. And they're going to look and they're not going to be able to catch the end of this one. you got some schools that came from as far as 20 miles away, so they... Had to leave without seeing the conclusion of this one. Smith across the timeline to Earl Clark on the right perimeter. Working against Edgem, puts it on the floor, pulls up at the block, bounces it down low, stolen away by Nana Egwu. Big play by the big man. Erie gets it back with 140 to go. They look up top, working against Russ Smith, just standing and holding the ball. 12 to shoot it now. Kicks it right wing, that's Edgem driving against Clark, shut off on the baseline, kicks it up top, Seibert straight on three, short. Rebound deflected out front, Smith ahead to Thompson who beat the pack and what a good foul by Kabongo, hacked Thompson from behind as he was going up dunk. So Sam Thompson at the line, 77% on the year but he's only attempted 26 free throws this season. Come out. This one, Kabongo, Atkins and Seibert. Kilpatrick with 14 on the shot clock, inbounds at the right hash in the forecourt. Gives it to Russ Smith up top. Cabongo with this tough defensive assignment. Dribbling outside the top of the key. Gets it to Kilpatrick, left of the circle. Six to shoot it. Seibert's on him. Gets a screen from Laurie. Goes down the lane. He dumps it down low to Thompson. It goes off his hands and out of bounds. And they're going to have to look at this one. This is a huge call. One third will put it in play. This is a huge call. One third will put it in play. They spread it out across the foul line. Extended. And then Sam Thompson's down low, but he's going to go out and set a screen for somebody. And it's for Kilpatrick. So here's a lob pass deflected. Thompson caught it in the middle of the lane. Oh, and he missed from four feet. Rebound Melvin Edgem of Erie. Egwu deflected the inbounds pass, but it bounced right to Thompson on the left wing with the dribble. Now he picks it up. Lobs it down low to Edgem, who gets loose in the left block, short on his try, his tip is short, and it's cleared with 11 seconds left by Lori. Down by two, here come the sevens. Smith brings it into the right forecourt. He picks up his dribble, Atkins is right in his face, pass deflected, Kilpatrick has it, it's knocked away, and taken away, but it may be a foul, I'm not sure. Yep, a season. With half a second to go. Cabongo now with 15 points. And his second try is no good. And there's the rebound. And the advance the ball. They don't have a timeout left, but to give him the three feet as he inbounds it. Thompson will put it in play on the left sideline. Sends it up top, and Clark caught it and shot it. It was no good, but it wouldn't have counted anyway because you can't catch and shoot it in two-tenths of a second. So a big win for the Bayhawks here. <laughs>